Hello everyone, we have another pleasant opportunity to meet Reverend Chris Wilson Ando, who is a senior pastor at Calvary International Christian Centre. We're going to be continuing our conversations with, um, based on some of the sermons from the previous weeks. And we're going to be talking about the wisdom of the serpents and then also the humility of the dove. So we're going to first say, Reverend Chris, thank you very much for this opportunity. My pleasure. Yeah. Your messages are so packed, Rev, that um, <laughs> there are only a few that we can talk about, but even with those, um, our listeners shall really greatly benefit. So we'll start with the wisdom of the serpent, Rev. Right? Um, in that message, there were three key things that you used the, the style and the life of the, the serpent to reflect to Christians. Mm-hmm. And those three things are that the, uh, the serpent has skills of self-preservation. The, the serpent has the skills of taking opportunity at the right time and then the skill of adaptation. So first, Rev, when you see that the serpent knows how to preserve itself, its life, um, what do Christians do that make us not preserve our lives? Or what do Christians do that make us lose our lives at the wrong time? And what can we do to avoid that? Alright, okay. So, the Bible says something. It says that guard your heart with all diligence mm-hmm. for out of it come the issues of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we say self-preservation, what I, what I want us to start with even is our heart. What we allow. Like Jesus said, how it's not what you eat mm-hmm. that destroys you, but what you, comes out of your heart or out of your, your you, mm-hmm. through your mouth, is what destroys you. And what comes out is what has been deposited in sometimes unconsciously because it goes through your subconscious and then it drops, drops into your conscience and it becomes a belief and uh, um, Paul describes it as a stronghold he says that uh, uh, for the weapons of our warfare are not come out but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God the intents of, of the heart, the things, the imaginations are the things that are the strongholds. And those imaginations and uh, intentions are things that come into your heart. And those are the things that destroy us. Mm. Believe me, like fear, pride, you know, unforgiveness. Those things are not from outside. Somehow, they may be triggered from outside, but it obviously comes through in our psyche and then it comes into our behavior are you me? but like like the serpent the serpent is somebody who is something a creature that will always be in a place but use the place to guard itself mm-hmm. so the serpent doesn't come out and get exposed mm-hmm. unless it is safe to come out mm-hmm. are, are you with me the believer is supposed to guard his heart Guard your heart with all diligence, which means that be very careful. Every day as you're going out, come in, people talking to you. The Bible says that be, 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 there are, are, may be many kinds of voices, but not none without signification. The, the voices that you allow to talk into your heart are the things, the voices that expose you, mm-hmm. expose your heart to failure, mm-hmm. that expose your heart to destruction. Mm-hmm. If you guard your, guard your heart, like the serpent, you will never be extinct.